So today's topic is how not to feel guilty through holidays. My name is Nadia Tach. I have a master's degree in psychology and I have worked in the wellness industry for about 10 years. I am also an independent Shackley distributor and I love uh, making pe people feel healthier and happier so they can make a difference in the world. So the way this video is supposed to work <laughs> is I am broadcasting from my business Facebook page should be the natural power to our closed free Facebook group Friends in Health. If you are a member of this group, great, thank you for joining us. Invite somebody you want to make a difference for. If you're not a member of our group, please join us. In this group, we are like-minded individuals who are already on the path to our well in our wellness journey, and we just want to stay motivated, inspire each other, and also be accountability partners for each other. Thank you for all your likes. Here you go. So the way we will have a conversation today it is a conversation so it's not like tips and tricks even though I'm going to share what works for me to live through holidays with no guilt if you have something else to add go ahead and comment I will see comments this time and I will surely plug it in if you're watching this video after it's over don't feel left out and still comment what works for you or what you think will work or what you heard that you like to implement these holidays all right well what do we usually feel during the holidays what comes to my mind number one is so overwhelmed so it's on top of our daily routine there's so many things to do you start thinking about the gifts well in my personal case okay i gotta cut out some finances in this area so I can implement them in uh, uh, gift purchases. It's uh, cutting time on your workouts because you've got to go here, got to go there, visit this person, go to this store. So you spend really less time for yourself and food, <laughs> especially Thanksgiving. What number one comes to my kid's mind is the table. How much food is going to be there? <laughs> well, and that's how we start feeling guilty because we know we're going to overeat. We know we are not or will not work out enough or as much as we want to do. We know that uh, the time will be really pressed and it's just all this extra guilt that is coming on us unfortunately in this beautiful holiday season did i miss anything else james if you're listening what else is on your mind that i missed well and how not to feel guilty this what works for me right if you hear something you want to comment comment if something else works for you comment Approach number one is here's somebody calling me is really not to think about it. Don't think about feeling guilty. Just stop it. Who is thinking about feeling guilty? It's really not you. It's your brain and inside voice talking to you. It really doesn't exist. It only exists in imagination of your mind and feeling stressed, guilty, and all that stuff. So just stop it. <laughs> and, you know, especially in such a time, and you probably heard an expression that growth happens in the space of being uncomfortable. And this is a great opportunity for you to feel uncomfortable and at the same time, move up with uh, your health goals and grow through these uncomfortable times. And really the routine here would be not really a routine, but uh, like the ultimate goal is to feel 
comfortable feeling uncomfortable maybe also a peer pressure during the holidays you know that people around you are going to eat right and do things that you wish were not done because you still want to keep up with your healthy routine so just stop thinking about guilty just just don't or if your mind is still talking to you just let it talk and my approach number two is plan and visualize so what does it mean I plan in case of success and I plan in case of failure Ooh, <laughs> yes because if you fail but you have a plan what to do next here you go you just go with your plan so how do I plan let's say the Thanksgiving Day Thursday here's what I'm gonna do when I wake up the first thing I'm gonna do probably when everybody is still sleeping so nobody is going to tell me where are you going I will go for a run or any type of workout because when I set my body early in the morning I boost my metabolism and all these calories that I supposedly going to eat later they will digest much faster much better because my metabolism is working faster all right I come back and of course we are going to have a family over here's a comment I need to be able to control my eating and the amount yes <laughs> so I'm coming to that so here's the family comes and we are sitting at the table uh, I believe Jim mentioned yesterday drink plenty of water I actually will start with that early in the day throughout the day it just like it's recommended every day right drink plenty of water but you're almost like tricking your body because especially when you haven't eaten yet you're kind of ready you're hungry drink plenty of water and while you're eating as well you trick your stomach by filling your stomach with liquid and then you won't eat more or you don't overeat because your stomach is already full with water <laughs> and when you eat so James says to control your eating and the amount Yes, just like I think you James mentioned that eat normally just like you normally will do right don't over it and certainly don't come back for second plate right or if I want to take second plate I might feel first one with the smaller amounts and second with the smaller amounts the other trick that I always do pretty much often is I feel my plate or first plate if you know you're going to get second plate just smaller amounts fill the first plate with healthy year choices if you see salad there any vegetables uh, fruit usually vegetables fill up on good choices first water healthy choices and then there's not much space in your stomach left for anything else right don't overeat portion your sizes <clears throat> when the time comes for desserts Tony mentioned to me and I so agree with her don't eat desserts sample desserts and when she said it it was just so vivid to me yes that's what I do every holiday we have about seven different pies and I like all of them so what I do is I might take a piece because it will be awkward if I cut like a tiny piece yeah I will receive some comments what are you doing torturing the pie <laughs> so I might take a big piece but I only sample it so it's kind of a willpower not to eat the whole piece but when I have about five pieces on my plate I know I cannot put all of them in my stomach so I just sample one or two forks of each piece and I'm good to go right what I notice if I eat normally and sample my desserts in a few hours I'm actually ready to eat again and I can enjoy something else that maybe I didn't get enough when I wanted to plus a little bit of desserts as well versus if you overeat you just feel so guilty so bloated and like you don't you can't go back and 
get more food a few hours later, right? You just feel guilty. So here you go. In the part of planning, what I also plan, after all the festivities, whatever else we're going to do after food, go for a walk. If you still feel a little heavy, walk is great. Maybe a little bit of weight, but what I usually do is walking. The next morning is the golden opportunity to burn those calories. Something with the metabolism and how calories set in your body, you still have a chance to burn them next morning. Don't miss that opportunity. This is really planning, right? And <clears throat> when I carry my plan with me, what I noticed, it just kind of becomes so deep, deep in my conscious that I automatically put my mind into success. I don't know. I do think about it, but it becomes more natural to do what I plan to do, not to overeat, simple desserts, walk, run in the morning. Here's another call. And in case of failure, yes, if I overeat, if I do too many desserts, life is life. Still go for a walk in the evening. That's what I will do. I'm sharing my personal example. And also I would have in my pocket some options as like our company has, it's called <clears throat> five by five reset program. So it's five day uh, healthy cleans reset your metabolism where you eat fresh fruits and vegetables uh, drink protein shakes for five days oh I guarantee you you will reset your body you will feel so happy on the third fourth day another option if uh, you feel a little sore on your stomach mint uh, stomach soothing complex is the product that I use also very good for just helping your digestive system all right, and the approach number three that I use is, um, and I really, really highly recommend it, is be more than ever present to your why. That bigger you, that bigger picture, and the difference you want to make. Why is it so important for you to lose weight? Why do you want to feel less stress? Why is it important to have full restful sleep? What difference will you make for yourself, for the people around you, for your community, for your world? Get really present with your why or contemplate on it. If you need some ideas, let me know. Well, this is what I usually do, is not to feel guilty, not to go in that mode of listening to your brain telling you that you're already guilty without you really doing much yet. So stop listening to your inside voice. Plan in case of success. Plan in case of failure. Drinking water, rationalizing your meals exercising, a plan of recovery, and really get grounded with your why. So I believe I am broadcasting from my business page, not sure, but it does say Nadia Nemova Touch. Maybe it's my personal wall, I don't know. But it is broadcasting to our closed group, Friends in Health. So if you're a member, great. Thank you for joining us. Hope this was a contribution for you. Look forward to your comments. Invite somebody you want to make a difference for. If you're not a member of our group, join us. We are like-minded individuals who are already on the path of our wellness. We want to improve every day and we want to motivate and inspire each other as well as have accountability partners. So I invite you to join. And that is all for now. Enjoy your transformation, enjoy your holidays, and happy Thanksgiving.